Hey guys, this is Michael Epifanio, and welcome to the Cookbook Project. I want to be able to take these recipes and share them with you. They've never been published before. They're all in my head. This dish was born in Italy and arrived in New York in the 50s. The dish is called fried ziti or peasant pasta. This dish was famous at my grandfather's restaurant. People would travel for hundreds of miles to taste this dish. We're going to share it with you. This is our first recipe in the series, and I know you're going to love it. We start with an onion. Nice and easy. You want to get a rough chop. Doesn't have to be fancy. Garlic, our next ingredient. Garlic is the essence of Italian cooking. So picture this. You have leftover pasta. You're cutting it up roughly, just like this. Okay? And you're going to combine that with a bunch of ingredients. Onions, garlic, pasta. I've got some sausage here. And but scallion has a real sweetness to it. Basically, I took Italian sweet sausage, roasted it in the oven, 375, drizzled it with some olive oil, ate a little salt and pepper, and then baked it until it was golden brown, like so. Fresh basil from my garden, and Italian parsley. Look at this. We got our hot oil and butter. Okay, we're gonna mix. And we got our pasta, which is our ziti. It's been coarsely chopped. I'm gonna add that, get all those flavors together. I mean, look at that. I mean, it looks good enough to eat just as, as it is right now. That's what you want. You want a little bit of brown. You want a little bit of crunchiness. I'm gonna add my sausage now because I've got enough roundness here. See that? I'm ready to add my sauce, okay? I'm gonna take one ladle, that's about four ounces of sauce, and that's about a half a cup right there. All right, now listen to that. That's the sizzle we're looking for. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut my stove off, I'm gonna take my fresh herbs, and I'm gonna fold them right in. See that? It's gonna grate the cheese right over the top. Okay, I'm gonna take the rest, and kind of dice it up, and I kind of like some of the chunks of mozzarella where, you know, it's not totally melted, but it has a little bit of body left to it after it bakes. This is Asiago cheese, freshly grated. I'm gonna take that, pour that over the top. We'll sprinkle it over the top. Look at this, huh? Isn't this gorgeous? This is our one frying pan a one guy. Look at that, most important part. Before you serve it to your guests, make sure you taste it. Because you can still adjust it. Let me tell you, I've been making this dish for 30 some odd years, and there's no way that this needs any adjustment. I'm gonna get a piece of sausage, some cheese, and just look at that gorgeousness, huh? Crispy and flavorful. Incredible. Man, nothing like it. And I know you're gonna love it. As we say in Italian, salute e cento anni. Salute. Salute.